Hello, my fellow explorers, Zay here. And for those of us who had trouble with uh, the string and spoon experiment in sound or didn't get to it in their meeting, here it is again. So you wanna start with your string and you wanna find the center of your string by taking the two ends, marrying them together and sliding your finger through to the other end. It doesn't have to be exact. There are many ways you could tie your spoon I find the easiest way is to make a slip knot. So I'm gonna take my two strings, I'm going to twist the top. You can see the twist right there. I'm gonna put my fingers through, and when I grab, I'm gonna grab the string that is on the bottom so that I can pull it through to make the knot. I'll show that one more time. And maybe even, am I allowed to? So I'm gonna put two fingers through, twist, grab the string that's on the bottom, and pull it snug. This is a slip knot, so it can uh, get bigger or smaller depending on what you need it to do and where you pull. I'm gonna take my spoon, stick it through here, snug it up as tight as I can so that the spoon doesn't pull the slip knot out and fall on my foot like it did earlier. Here I'm gonna take the strings and put them in my ears. You want your spoon to be able to hang kind of freely and then you gently knock it on a hard surface. And the sound from the spoon travels all the way up the string like a really cool bell like church bells and that kind of rings in your ears for a while. Um, so I hope you get to discover that as well. And you can try out different spoons and see if they sound different. Let me know what you think. Love you all.